Hey tennis fans, my name is Shane Terry and I'm coming at you with some more tennis news updates. Tennis is officially back and all the WTA and ATP tennis stars have descended down under for the start of the 2022 tennis season. Notably absent from this year's Australian summer is Roger Federer and Serena Williams, whom we hope to see back on court later this year. One player who solidified his presence down under is defending Australian Open champion Novak Djokovic. The nine-time Australian Open champion officially confirmed his participation, announcing on Twitter that he would be traveling to Australia after receiving a medical exemption from being vaccinated for coronavirus. There were quite a few question marks surrounding the world number one coming in who had declined to disclose his vaccination status. As tennis fans know, all players participating in the Australian Open this year are required to be vaccinated. The nine-time Australian Open champion, however, has avoided this mandate. Despite all the controversy surrounding the decision, world number one Novak Djokovic is eager to get his 2022 campaign underway. In other news, on the WTA side of things, four-time Grand Slam champion and defending Australian Open champion, Naomi Osaka played her first match since losing in the third round of the US Open in August. It was a triumphant return for the former world number one, defeating Alize Cornet in the first round of an Australian Open lead-up event. It was a tricky opening round for Naomi Osaka, who had to shake off a bit of rust throughout the match. She captured the opening set 6-4, and took a 3-1 lead in the second before Cornet stormed back to take the second set 6-3. Osaka regrouped in the third to close out the match 6-4, 3-6, 6-3. Naomi Osaka will be relieved to get this win under her belt after having so much uncertainty surrounding her at the end of last year. She spoke to reporters after the match and stated she wasn't sure if she was even going to play in Australia this year However, it's happy she made it and is ready to get her 2022 campaign going down under. She will next face Marina Zanveska of Belgium in round two on Wednesday. But that is it for this tennis news update. If you guys like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel. My name is Shane Terry, and I'm so happy to be back with tennis news updates. I hope to continue doing this through the Australian Open, and hopefully the 2022 tennis season is one for the books. But I thank you guys for watching and please be sure to subscribe, like, and comment.